and here it is my first vehicle I ever drove in Japan and it is uh, great and it's big and I'm at the house that, of the people that gave us a lot of stuff uh, the other family that gave us a lot of stuff and I've got a lot of it loaded but I'm leaving space for the washer dryer because we still have to go get that and then this will probably just be one more load I imagine so that's the plan for tonight I'm driving and it's scary. Well, everything is in the house. I wouldn't say it went completely without a few hitches. One hitch being that it took so many trips <laughs> and another hitch being I should have gotten a bigger truck. Then a final hitch being we kind of put a big scratch in the entryway flooring and uh, I don't know if it can buff out but that was kind of disappointing because that was literally the last piece that we moved in the house and it was my fault it was my fault because uh, the guy that was helping me from church was like oh should we flip this over he thought it would go around the corner better but I should have listened to him anyway because um, yeah it's kind of a bad scratch but I'll try to buff it out and see see if it looks any better. Um, yeah, I didn't film almost anything, obviously, because I've been driving and loading and unloading, and uh, it's been crazy. And it's now almost midnight, but I was so thirsty and kind of hungry, so I came to everybody's favorite, 7-Eleven. Got some uh, egg salad sandwich and an orange drink. All in all, it's coming to a close. And just the part where I had to do all this stuff in Japan. But uh, then when Sydney gets here, it'll be a new phase and a new chapter. And I hope you'll continue to join us for the fun ahead. Thank you for watching and it's now completely dark.